The recent Olympics provided us with a seemingly endless flow of how bullshit is it segments. From candling to cupping to allowing countries like Italy to participate in any of the events that matter. But one of the most rampant pieces of pseudoscience is one you may not have noticed because it hides in plain sight. Sometimes it's a bracelet or earrings or even just sewn into the lining of an outfit. Now this particular brand of woo claims to help people stop smoking, improve balance, reduce fatigue, cure arthritis, and balance a variety of chakras and chi flows to boot. And since we all know human is to hard drive as water is to fire, you probably already know that I'm talking about magnet therapy. So I think it's time we find out once and for all, how bullshit is it? But before we dig into the magnitude of bullshit that makes up this very attractive piece of woo, Heath, why don't you tell us what it is? It's me. I'm doing this one. No, no, no. Not after the Lyme disease thing. Uh, you're just jealous of my gifts. No, seriously, dude. Where the hell is Heath? He's busy. You've done something terrible with him, haven't you? Right. Oh, God, I don't have time for a fucking prank. Okay, you know what? I can't believe I'm doing this. Despite my better judgment, I suppose I'll just ask you. So tell us, Eli, what is magnetic therapy? Thank you, Noah. My segment now. All right. Well, according to Merriam-Webster, magnetic therapy is the therapeutic use of magnets or magnetic fields in the practice of alternative medicine to treat illness, relieve pain, and promote health. Okay, and how do they do that? Ah, well, you see, hemoglobin, the protein in your blood that carries oxygen, is weakly diamagnetic when oxygenated, or paramagnetic when deoxygenated. So thin metal magnets are attached to the body alone or in groups. They can be worn as bracelets or necklaces, like you said, attached to adhesive patches to hold in place, placed in bands or belts, wrapped around the wrist, elbow, knee, ankle, foot, waist, lower back. There's also magnetic insoles, blankets, slumber pads. And the idea is the magnets increase blood flow and oxygen to the area where the magnets are, as well as create a less acidic environment within the body. That sounds dubious. Oh, it is. All right, so what conditions is this used to treat? Well, like most bullshit, pretty much anything. A cursory Google found it's recommended for arthritis, cancer, circulatory disorders, diabetic neuropathy, what? fibromyalgia, HIV, AIDS, oh, Jesus. immune dysfunction, infection, inflammation, insomnia, multiple sclerosis, muscle pain, neuropathy, pain, just general, rheumatoid arthritis, sciatica, stress, and just to increase energy and prolong life. However, nowhere did I find a recommendation for those with Lyme disease. So, D dude, dude, stay on task. Fair. All right. So I feel like this is pretty obvious, but does it work? No. All right. Good answer. So why doesn't it work? Ah, okay. Well, this is actually a little trickier than what our audience probably assumes the answer of rocks aren't magic. Yeah, yeah, and on this segment, that's often all you need. It's true, it's true. You see, while it's true, hemoglobin is, as I said, dia and paramagnetic, depending on whether or not it's oxygenated, and that there have been some studies shown that hemoglobin does react to magnetic pulses, none of that has to do with magnetic therapy because the magnets they use are magnitudes too weak to affect blood flow. This is basically the homeopathy of magnetism. I got you. Yeah. Even an MRI, which uses way more magnetic energy than your aunt's stupid bracelet, doesn't have the effect claimed by magnetic healing practitioners. Okay, well, what about the body's electromagnetic energy response? I, I've read that magnetic therapy is fantastic for rebalancing that. Mm, indeed it is, because that does not exist. So yeah, balanced, like a leprechaun and Bigfoot on a teeter-totter. Uh-huh, well, I mean, you say that, but hell, we get these giant checks from Monsanto every month to show for them. I mean, ha have these claims ever actually been tested scientifically? Quite a bit, actually. In 1991, a study showed that the magnets had no effect on blood flow at the level they're used. A small-scale 2008 systematic review of magnetic therapy for all indications found insufficient evidence to determine whether magnet therapy is effective for pain relief, as did a 2012 review focused on osteoarthritis. Okay, all right. So, is magnetic therapy legal? Well, yes and no. It's it's not putting bleach up your kid's butthole, but like a lot of things in the U.S., you certainly can sell it, you just can't pretend it's medicine, or use medicine words around it. Uh-huh. But you can, of course, use carefully chosen language to get around laws like that. Uh, for example? Uh, like, uh, do you have Lyme disease? Lyme disease is terrible. Fuck Eli Bosnick. I see. Okay, and finally, just for funsies... 
Any idea how much this bad boy costs? Ah, well, according to the Skeptical Inquirer, in 2006, people spent about a billion dollars that year on this stuff. Jesus. A and while on the larger scale, that's not really that much, considering you could rent Yankee Stadium, fill it with marshmallow peeps, rent a helicopter, and then jump out of said helicopter into said stadium full of peeps for the same price with equal medicinal benefit, it seems like kind of a waste. Not to mention the aspirin and fucking doctor's visits that people could spend that money on instead. Or just the fucking stadiums full of peeps, yeah. Exactly, you get it. All right, so I, I feel like it's a bit redundant at this point, but God damn it if we aren't consistent. So tell me, Eli. How bullshit is it? Ooh, I I'm going to go with sending in a bunch of cows to eat all those marshmallow peeps, but covered in Taco Bell fire sauce. A terrifying image indeed. Well, Eli, thanks for joining me. Um... Now, I I'm assuming that you've hidden Heath somewhere with limited oxygen? Define limited. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's go find him. The games have begun! <laughs> That's why I'm wearing a wig. <laughs>